We wanted to experiment with shooting classic sci-fi movie effects in a practical way. With the new iPhone 13 Pro, we we're able to capture them more cinematically than ever before. We grew up watching these films and asking ourselves, how did they do that? This is our homage to the masters of practical visual effects. There's an iconic scene that you see in a lot of space movies where all the stars stretch into long lines and just like really fly past the spaceship. So we created what is called a rain curtain. And because we shot it in the dark with colored lights, it actually looks like there's stars coming past us. And then once we have that video, we stretched a large rear projection screen and we projected the image onto the screen so that it would then reflect onto the helmet of my character. Since the iPhone is now better in low light, it helped to really sell this bright hyperspeed effect. A lot of sci-fi movies take place in outer space. Since we couldn't actually go into outer space, we had to create these planets ourselves. We used a dome and projected a slide image onto it so that when I moved my camera in and out and around it, that actually gives a look of a real spherical planet. about creating a sci-fi universe is that you get to create landscapes and environments that might not necessarily exist. We built this armature out of fencing material and then we got a lot of pillow stuffing. I regretted doing it immediately. I don't know, it just looked like pillow stuffing. But after we positioned the clouds, added a few lights, and used the ultra-wide lens, it really became a vast world for our hero to explore. One technique used in almost every movie is the rack focus. Using the new cinematic mode, we were able to rack focus between the floating rocks and the character's face. Originally used in live theater, this effect is called Pepper's Ghost. So we just use this thin piece of plastic that you hit with a heat gun and becomes transparent. And that's what we put at a 45 degree angle between our camera and our character. We actually had to coordinate two human beings dressed in the same costumes. So what can happen is that character and this character can actually exist in the same plane. So as you're shooting me, you're also shooting the reflection of this character. And even though we had to shoot in the dark, the camera was able to capture all the details that we needed. This is just one of the many things that we experimented with. Quickly check mail, messages, or another app without leaving the one you're in. Here's how to use SlideOver on iPad. We'll cover how to add apps to SlideOver and how to use it. To add an app to SlideOver, open the app you'd like to add, then tap the multitasking button at the top of the screen. Now, tap the SlideOver button to send your app to the right side of the screen. Tap another app to open it and the app you added to SlideOver will appear on the right side of the screen. Repeat this process for any other apps you'd like to add to SlideOver. To switch between your apps or make a SlideOver app go full screen, swipe left from the right edge of your screen to open SlideOver. To cycle through your apps, drag sideways along the bar at the bottom of the SlideOver window. This is helpful if you need to quickly check messages, mail, reminders, or calendar. You can also view all your open apps in SlideOver at the same time. To do this, slide up from the bottom of the SlideOver window and your apps will fan out. Now, you can tap an app to use it. You can also view your SlideOver apps in the App Switcher. 
just slide up from the bottom of your screen. Then, swipe left to view your slide over apps and tap one if you wish to use it. If you'd like to make one of your slide over apps go full screen, tap the multitasking button at the top of the slide over window, then tap the full screen button. When you use private browsing, Safari won't remember your search history, the pages you visit, or your autofill information. To turn on private browsing in Safari, touch and hold the Tabs button. A menu appears, and you can tap Private to open your most recent private tab, or tap New Private Tab. When you turn on private browsing, the navigation buttons change from blue to white in dark mode, or from blue to black in the light appearance. You'll also see an explanation of private browsing at the top of the screen. Now, you can visit a website without creating a browsing or search history in Safari. To turn off private browsing, touch and hold the Tabs button again, and tap Tabs. You can tell that you've turned off private browsing because the navigation buttons are blue again. And that's private browsing. See what else you can do in Starting in Mac OS Monterey, you can save time on your Mac by automating the things you do most and combining multiple steps into just one. Here's how, with Shortcuts. When you open the Shortcuts app, you may see shortcuts synced from your other Apple devices that are signed in to iCloud. In Starter Shortcuts, you'll find personalized shortcuts from Siri based on how you use your devices. Now, let's check out the gallery located in the sidebar. Here you'll find pre-made shortcuts organized into collections for things like accessibility, Siri, and more. We're going to set up two apps to work side by side with the split screen two apps shortcut. Let's click it to check it out. Here you'll see the shortcut description, including Siri commands and other compatible apps and devices the shortcut may appear on. Click add shortcut to customize it. When customizing shortcuts, you may be asked to enter information and choose options like apps, dates, and times. Here, we're going to select the apps we want to use in split screen. Once you're done, click Add Shortcut. You can quickly run a shortcut from Spotlight, Siri, and more. Let's try running one from the menu bar. To do this, just drag a shortcut from All Shortcuts onto Menu Bar in the sidebar of the Shortcuts app. To run it, click the Shortcuts app icon in the Menu Bar and select the shortcut. Great! Now our apps are ready to use side by side. And that's the Shortcuts app on Mac. One click, done! To learn more about your Mac, subscribe to the Apple Support YouTube channel or click another video to keep watching.